and this is Nibiru Watcher. It is April 22nd, 2018, and I believe I have solved a great mystery known as the lunar wave. The same lunar wave that Crow 777 was taking down his channel, but he's back up showing these lunar waves. In this lunar wave shows it looks like a displacing shock wave going across the moon twice. Let me show you. And here we can see this shock wave moving across the all across the surface of the sun twice over and over again. Notice that the speed of this double shock wave, we see an edge here and we see an edge here, all the way across the surface of the moon. But the speed is exactly the speed of the traveling parallel shock wave is the same as the orbital speed of the moon as it travels around the earth. Now I wanna show you the lens array seen from the ground from a lady, an autumn from Buffalo, New York. Let's watch this with her camera as she pans from right to left. This double edge, we can see it starting to show here in this lens as it pulls light into the circle. Look at this double edge, the same edge passing in front of the moon, distorting this house into parts as, the, as she move, pans her hand back and forth. In the next video, here we can see the lens array coming all the way down, distorting the light and bending this house at an almost 90 degree angle. And then later she pans to the right and we see this. So we can watch, we keep seeing this weird light glitch. Now these photos are coming in from around the world. In the next photo, she learns to hold her hand steady and listen as we hear the camera in this video you will hear what sounds to be a leaf blower but listen to the sound of the cameras trying to focus in on this as it pulls the motor back and forth, trying to get a focus on something that can't be focused because there's a lens in front of it. Listen to this distortion. Sorry for the lead below her, but the, the list is listen. guys miss that you think she's being electrocuted no that's the sound of the camera trying to focus a little motor in there pulling an electrostatic motor pulling the thing you need to try to pull it in focus two lenses fighting each other trying to discover where is the point of focus now I want to show you <laughs> JPL, Jet Propulsion Lab Laboratory, new ultra-thin optical devices shape light in exotic ways. I This nano surface has a meta surface. These little silicon pillars resent it, resembling a cut forest. Silicon, dielectric surface that can independently rotate these silicon pillars as it rotates they get thicker and denser bending and shaping light. Notice that it can also be used as a display. What is JPL rocket scientists making ultra thin lenses for? Let's watch what happens when the moon passes in front of this object. Here we got this strain hazy object. We see the sun, the moon rising I want to show you that this is also bizarre in itself. Look at the full moon turn into a crescent moon as it goes up in the sky. 
and then 10 days later, it, earlier, we could look at that. Does that look normal, people? Look at that. But watch what happens when it actually passes through the actual lens array. I'm going to scroll forward a little bit. Here, the moon, watch as it rises right through three overlapping lens arrays. I almost have to slow this down, try and catch at the right point. But in this video, we can see it split. You see that? And then grow again in three separate pieces. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely not normal. And we can see the three distinct pieces of the moon. What would a shockwave look like then if someone actually had a camera on it? It would have showed three shockwaves going through the Earth. Three parallel intersecting, that would have just blown people away if they would have captured that on camera. Do we have any more proof of this? Remember my, this is a, <laughs> does this look familiar? Well, look what happens when you put a lens in front of a light. Look, something like the sun, does that look like the sun halos we've been seeing lately? Why would they do that? Here's your answer. Lenses can distort, bend, and create what is a cloaking field. So there's your big Scooby-Doo mystery solved, people. Those two passing waves to the moon are none less than the moon transitioning in front of the lens array. Have a blessed day.